What's going on guys? Welcome to Grunt Proof. This is the Eton Scorpion 2 Emergency Survival Radio. Is it any good? Let's find out. I'm sure many of you guys have seen this. I've seen other survivalists and outdoorsmen promote this product. I figured I would give it a shot and let you guys know how it's done. As you can tell, this thing has seen some use. I've been playing with this for almost six months now and I've put it through the Grunt Proof Ringer and I'm ready to give my verdict. So I gotta say I was very interested in something like this because in theory, this seems like an awesome product. So you have a solar or wind up powered emergency radio. You got your telescoping antenna. You got a clip to hook it onto your bag, which is where I usually keep mine. And for guys like me, they've got a bottle opener on it. You've got a flashlight function, which ain't that great, but it works. And then you got your radio function. So you basically hit this M to cycle through the radio. So that's one of the local rock stations. Hit M again. And that's AM radio. We go again. You get your info, weather and emergency broadcast. And of course you can cycle through the channels and it's got two volume buttons. It also has an LED display with the local time. And then under here, you've got a USB output a headphone jack and a micro USB input to charge it. I have actually not had to plug this thing in once to charge it because as you can see, I'm running around out here. I got it clipped on my bag. So it's actually charging as I'm driving around all day. Very cool. So just looking at the functions and capabilities of this product, you would think it would be an excellent piece of gear. I'm sorry to tell you guys, it is actually a bummer. So first, the solar panel does work. As I said, I have never charged this. It gets charged while I'm riding around all day and I got it clipped on my bag. Once you plug it in or you use the little wind up feature, the battery indicator will actually flash showing that it's charging. So all the methods to charge it actually work. One problem though is for solar, you have to have it in the sun. So anytime I have laid it out on the hood and placed it directly out in the sun, of course, it's been getting 90 to 100 degrees out here. The display actually goes crazy to the point where you can no longer read it. So everything still functions, but the display just goes bad. And I've noticed as time has gone by, the display has actually began to deteriorate. So for me, that's a fail because if you have a solar product, it should be able to withstand the sunlight because guess what? You have to put it in the sun to charge it. Another issue, it is very cool that the antenna telescopes and you could put it out and direct it however you need to. However, this thing seems to be so flimsy, I've always been worried I would just snap it off. And when it does get stuck, it feels like you're going to snap it off. I was curious, so I got on the Amazon page and looked at the reviews and a lot of people said they did snap theirs off. Bummer, because with the antenna gone, you're pretty much screwed. Unlike a lot of radios that have very small antennas or your phone that does not require an antenna, this actually requires the antenna. Maybe you can go like this and get signal, but that antenna is definitely needed. Last issue, the headphone jack barely works if it does at all. If it works, the sound quality is terrible. I don't see the point in having a headphone jack on a radio like this anyway. I guess maybe if you are in a true bug out evasion scenario and you want to hear some updates without people hearing your speaker maybe i guess or you're listening to this and you don't want to disturb somebody else you're camping with fine but it barely works so the grunt proof verdict for now because half of the functionalities don't even work we're going to say it is a no-go not grunt proof now like i said this is a very cool toy in theory the execution is poor so if Eton puts out a Scorpion 3, an updated model, I will get a hold of that and I'll let you guys know how it does. So essentially, this is a bottle opener slash emergency radio. Now, some of you may say the info and weather station is a definite plus, and that may be the case for you. However, I always have one of these radios on me, including unlocking the radio. It takes two buttons to get the FM radio, radio and it's actually a little bit better quality than this one. I hit another button, go to my B channel, there's my weather and emergency broadcast. And I also don't have to worry about snapping my antenna off because it's fixed and it works fine. This thing is waterproof and it is pretty durable. 
So if you are looking for just an emergency broadcast radio and something that picks up AM and FM channels to hear some music while you're out, then this is not a bad deal. Otherwise, for the purpose that they market it under, it is a definite fail. Thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for the support. And until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Cheers. Let's go watch the sunset.